Russo, uh, senior at Lincoln Southeast High School, and um, uh, this is uh, Broken Promise. As I look around the cold, dark hospital room, I see people, people I don't know very well. There's the bed, and in the bed is Grandpa, breathing heavy and dying, but no one really wants to talk about it. I look up at him, close my eyes, and remember. Me and him, rolling down the street in his pickup truck, he turns to me and asks me that same stupid question he asks me almost every single time he sees me. So, uh, Austin, you got that girlfriend yet? I smile and, and blush and for the 17th time respond, no, Grandpa, I don't have that girlfriend yet. But when I do, you'll be the first one to know. I promise. They continue to talk. I continue to remember when I hear it. Dad, Dad, Daddy. I open my eyes and see what I feared the worst. He's gone. We all say our goodbyes. His children who I really didn't know, his grandchildren who I really didn't know, his brothers and sisters who I didn't even know he had at all. And while grandma's in the hallway banging her head against the wall because she can't say goodbye again, I kiss him on his cold cheek and think to myself, Grandpa, I didn't really know you. But I guess that makes us even because you really didn't know me. See, Grandpa, you died thinking that I was going to play football. You died thinking that you were going to watch me on TV in a Husker jersey playing Texas A&M in their place. But, Grandpa, you died before we left the Big Ten. You died before you got the chance to hear me sing my songs on stage, before you got the chance to see me become somebody else. Grandpa, you died not knowing I was going to write poetry about you, about how you loved everyone around you and how I was there when you died. Grandpa, you died thinking I was going to be able to keep my promise, but Grandpa, I can't keep my promise because Grandpa, you died before I got the chance to tell you I'm gay. So I guess you really didn't know me, and I really didn't know you, but as I sit here and remember who you were, I start to realize that none of that would have mattered, that instead of my football games, you would have went to my choir concerts and performances, and instead of play books, you would have studied play bills, and as we rolled down the street in your pickup truck, you would have turned to me and asked me that same stupid question almost every single time I see you. So, uh, Austin, you got that boyfriend yet? I smile and blush, and for the 18th time respond, no, Grandpa, I don't got that boyfriend yet. But when I do, you'll be the first one to know. I promise. <laughs>